There has long been a chilling rumor that if a human head were dipped into liquid nitrogen for just five seconds, it would freeze solid like a block of ice and shatter at the slightest impact. To put this to the test, Kari went to a store and carefully selected three real skulls to build three artificial heads. The first would serve as a control, the second would be frozen in liquid nitrogen before testing, and the third was kept as a backup. To create lifelike replicas, Kari volunteered her own face as a mold, while Tori applied layers of silicone across her skin and left it to cure in the sun. When the mold finally hardened, it stuck so firmly that Kari had to sacrifice her eyelashes just to peel it off intact. Tori, meanwhile, decided to make an extra model out of pure ice, filling the mold with water and freezing it into a solid ice head. For the other skulls, they poured in a viscous diatomaceous gel to simulate brain matter, sealed them inside the silicone molds, and added tissue substitute, producing three convincing test heads. At the same time, Grant engineered a powerful head-smashing machine, capable of delivering up to a thousand pounds of force. The experiment began safely behind blast-proof glass. First up was the ice head. Grant adjusted the pressure, triggered the pneumatic hammer, and with a single strike, the frozen head exploded into countless shards, just like a Hollywood special effect. The results were spectacular, but the real question remained. What would happen when the skull that had been frozen in liquid nitrogen for five seconds took its place under the hammer? They submerged a head in liquid nitrogen for five seconds and struck it with a hammer. Cracks appeared, showing it was more brittle than at room temperature, but it didn't shatter like in movies. To test further, they froze a pig's head for five seconds and hit it. The head was crushed but didn't break apart. Extending the freezing time to ten minutes made little difference. The experiment clearly showed that human skulls are far tougher than cinematic depictions suggest. 